Hello, I'm John Parker, Distribution Sales Manager for Pico Technology. Today we're going to take you through the basics and an introduction to using our automotive software. Here at Pico Technology we have two websites. The first, www.picotech.com, shows all of our test and measurement products. Remember, to get to our automotive software, you need to go to our automotive site, which is www.picoauto.com. Please make sure you go to the downloads area on this website to download our automotive software. Here we are, picoauto.com. Just go to the downloads tab and choose our Picoscope 6 automotive software, av available to download for free. Here our software is now downloaded and you can see we have two icons on the screen, Picoscope Automotive and Picoscope Diagnostics. For the purpose of this video we're going to concentrate on Picoscope 6 automotive software. So we will load the software from here. When you first open Picoscope software you'll see that it's searching for our Picoscope Automotive oscilloscope. Because we haven't got one connected we have the option of opening and using the software in demo mode. So simply click yes to using a demo device. So here we are. Here's our live screen. I've got two demo signals running, channel A and channel B. But the first thing we need to note when looking at any oscilloscope screen is simply what we're reading is voltage, which is seen here on the left hand side, over time, which is shown on our bottom axis. Working with our demo signal, we can start and stop using the start and stop buttons in the bottom left hand corner of our screen. We can also alter our time base. Time base is the long axis along the bottom of our screen. Here we have options from 500 nanoseconds right the way through to multiple second divisions. Each division is one line along the bottom of the screen. We control our voltage or our measurements on each individual channel of our oscilloscope. In an automotive oscilloscope we can have up to four channels, channel A, B, C through to D. For each one of these channels you have channel options where you can change the probe that you're using. A times one probe is for a standard test lead but we also have options for current clamps all the way through to pressure measurements and beyond. Using Picoscope 6 software, we have many tools at our disposal to help us analyse the data. We can look back through time using our buffers menu. Once we've found the part of the signal we're interested in looking at in more detail, we can use the rulers, which are situated for both the time base and measurements axis. We can then zoom in to make sure we 100% understand the detail of the signal we've captured. Whilst what we've concentrated on so far are really basic features of automotive software, where you'll really start to get value with Picoscope is by connecting to live vehicles and capturing data. To help you out here we've developed our automotive menu with over 150 guided tests. No matter which one of these guided tests you choose, exactly the same thing will happen. Each of our guided tests will give you help and advice, firstly how you make the connection to the component. In our example, a cam and crank synchronisation, we're giving you connections to both sensors within the vehicle. Once you've connected Picoscope, we then give you an example waveform of what you would expect to see looking at these two signals. Furthermore, we give you waveform notes and some further technical information about those components. But most importantly, what's happened within our software, our voltage and time-based settings have been set to allow you to operate this test. Thanks for watching this short video. Hopefully it's given you a little insight into our automotive software. Please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and watch out for further videos moving forward. Thank you.